Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to join you today at the ADB Institute's 2021 annual conference. This year's theme, Climate Change Mitigation and Green Finance, is extremely timely and important. The conference aims to discuss how we can help Asia and the Pacific lead the way in the fight against climate change, including through our support for the next steps after COP26. My friends, as you know well, Asia and the Pacific is one of the most vulnerable regions to the disruptive effects of climate change, which continue to worsen. The climate crisis is putting people's lives and livelihood at greater risk and creating new uncertainties for the region's economies. At the same time, we must confront the uncomfortable truth that our region is the source of more than 50% of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. It is clear that bold and urgent action is needed to combat the great challenges we face. For this, we must implement new and innovative policy solutions to ensure green, inclusive, and sustainable development. Let me highlight how ADB is rising to the challenge. First, we have been stepping up our climate financing. We raised our ambition to provide $100 million in cumulative climate finance between 2019 and 2030. Second, we have revised ADB's energy policy to reflect our decision to formally withdraw from financing new coal-fired plants. Our new energy policy will support universal access to reliable and affordable energy services while promoting low carbon transition in Asia and the Pacific. And third, we have launched several initiatives at COP26 to catalyze climate action in the region using new and innovative approaches. In particular, the Energy Transition Mechanism, or ETM, can be a game changer in solving one of the biggest challenges in our region, namely how to retire existing coal-fired power plants. We plan to introduce ATM in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Before I conclude, let me emphasize that the ADBI is playing a complementary role in these efforts to chart a fair and equitable path to net zero carbon emission economies while ensuring a strong and inclusive post-COVID recovery. I am confident that ADBI's evidence-based policy research, capacity building and training programs and outreach are responding to the urgent needs of many of our developing member countries. And let me conclude by encouraging ADBI to continue its important work using this year's conference as an opportunity to build on the momentum of COP26, the support of ADB, and the ongoing efforts of our DMCs. Your guidance on issues such as accelerating decarbonization, green finance, and climate change policies are vital to the future of Asia and the Pacific and the world. I look forward to a lively and impactful discussion. Thank you.